Alright, Screwballs, welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. This is session number 3 of Game Time. In the last episode, we finally got to the Sprout Tower. And I went to the Mart there off screen and I bought some items. Now we're going to face the Gym Leader. If you talk to this guy here, he gives you some hints and tips on how to best the uh, Pokemon Gym Masters. Dreams can come true. I believe. Grass types weekends flying. Well, that's good. Things that both my types are bug and grass types. So if you choose Chikorita for your starter, you're going to have a slight disadvantage over Faulkner for your first gym battle, but it's not entirely impossible. So without further ado, we're going to get started with the gym fight here. Faulkner. I always found it amusing that the gym leaders had some sort of connotation to their elemental gym types. So like Faulkner here, kind of reminds you of the word Falcon. And then you have Bugsy from Azalea Town. Spiro's gonna be a little pecker it looks like. We have a slight disadvantage over this gym leader, but hopefully we can beat him. Come on, Bean. Take a little bit of strategy, a little bit of time, but I think we can beat this guy. Wish I was a little bit faster. <laughs> Pushing him up. What's your shit? I like that sound. A super effective move. What's your shit? And so Spiro goes down. All right. You're my boy, Bean. You're my boy. Reflect. That should come in handy. Sometimes I might backtrack to the Pokemon server to heal up, so I might cut that footage out. Cause it gets so freaking redundant. That's the first time you have to do it. <laughs> Team's gonna be built up slowly but surely. One thing about making them gains is slow, steady progress. Let's go and put Butterfree. So we got Butterfree and Butterbean. Guts is the key. Bird Masters. I guess that makes Faulkner the big bird in the gym, huh? Some moves here. So Confusion is a pretty solid psychic move for Butterfree, so that should help us along this gym. Seems that both my types are weak against uh, fire and flying. And ice. That's okay though. Butterfree is probably not going to be a permanent member of my team. If you can learn fly, I'm not sure if you can learn fly in this generation or not. I'm not too keen on the PG evolution. They're kind of cool, they're just not spectacular. Alright, good stuff. And there's the big bird right there, Faulkner. 
trying to remember his voice in the anime. I'm Falcon, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to burrow Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the burrow Pokemon. Magnificent! It's like Falcon means business here. God, I remember the gym battle in the anime between Ash and Falcon was pretty cool. Charizard versus was a Pidgeot. Pretty freaking sweet. Whoa. Them crits. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so we have Pidgeotto. For his second and last Pokemon. So majestic. Whoa. That gust is gonna be treacherous. I think confusion can cause confusion too, if I'm not mistaken. That'd be handy if I could confuse this little Pidgeotto. And my boy Butterfree. Get your licks in. Go ahead and switch out to Chikorita here. I think Pidgeot's got Quick Attack up his sleeve. And Pidgeotto goes down, alright. Just won our first gym battle. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. You've clipped my wings, by God. Every badge has some sort of effect on your Pokemon stats, I think. Raises the attack and it lets us use Flash. And most of the gym leaders give you TMs. Is it most of the leaders or all of them? I can't remember if all of them give you TMs as well. I think it's in Kanto that some of them will give you TMs, some will. So TM31 has Mud Slap. It's a ground type move. It's not overly powerful, but I think it's pretty cool. It's because of the effect it has. It reduces accuracy and it causes some damage. So given it, give it the right Pokemon, it's not too shabby. What? Professor Elm, Sandori, there's something about the egg we've discovered. His voice in the anime is kind of goofy, too. Could you talk to my assistant in Violet City? My voice acting's atrocious. <laughs> so he's in the Pokemon Center, so let's see what's going on. There's that uh, googly eyed Professor Oaks, Elm's assistant, right there. <laughs> Professor Elm asked me to find you. Another favor to ask? Would you take the egg? Sure. Toads and goats. Alright. I'm the only one in the universe that can hatch this damn egg. So yeah, once you have a Pokemon that can breed, um, it'll lay an egg. And then when you have the egg in your party, it'll hatch depending on the number of steps you take. And certain Pokemon, I guess depending on their rarity or their overall power, some take longer to hatch than others. So if you take a look at it, you can check the status too by just saying it must be close to hatching. So it looks like this one's actually it already starts out close to hatching. Usually it says one of what's inside needs more time. That's kind of interesting. Alrighty, but we have our first badge in hand, so now we're ready to continue our journey. So where do we go? Where do we go now? I'm going to the market. Cause I'm out of potions. 
So let's go ahead and stock up and have much money. Money don't come cheap in this working day economy. Let's say two Pokeballs. Alright. Let's see what's going on. So Butterfree's still up there. Watch out for fallen berries. A purse cure. That's a paralyzed cure. <laughs> I found a purse cure berry. And if you tell this guy after you win the violet battle, he'll give you a special item that you can equip to your Pokemon. And this one is the Miracle Seed. Which, in yep, right there, increases grass type moves. That's pretty fortuitous for us. Excellent. Let's go ahead and stick that on Butterbean. Amp up his grass type attack power. Woo! Sweet. Me likey. Alright, so we're going to continue on. The grass. Yeah, the next trajectory on our. The next destination on our trajectory is. Azalea Town. Home to our second Pokemon Gym battle. Rat attack. Rat a tat tat. Is it just me or is it funny that Butterfree has Harden? Like he really only needs it during his Metapod stage, because that's really one of the few moves he can actually learn, but to, to see a Butterfree use Harden is kind of funny. I don't know why. It's just because he's not, like, in that cocoon-like state he was in, <laughs> so it's kind of weird to see it. Getting that ball, dude. Alright, you know what? I'm getting sick of you! Yeah, F it. It's not that's the last Rattata on Earth. <laughs> You're pretty tough. I think I'm pretty. I think I'm a force to be reckoned with. You better, better check your tone. Don't be getting salty with me, boy. Yet. Too bad, I haven't seen him yet. Zubat used to be one of my mainstay Pokemon for the Gold Silver game, too, because I think Crobat is freaking awesome. And he can use Fly, so it's one of the reasons I kept him around. He's a pretty solid Pokemon. This stretch between us and Violet City and um, what's it called? Azalea Town's pretty long, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave off here, guys. Go ahead and uh, like the ch like the uh, video, slap that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more media. And a shameless plug is shameless. I'll see you guys in part six. See you later.